just a quick explanation for wiring and wire connectors for sprinklers. Um, these ones are standard uh, for if you have a box that is uh, sealed or you're indoors or inside of a clock or something. Since it's low voltage, these are, these are perfectly okay. But if you get outside um, or in a sprinkler box, so you're out um, in, in the, the elements basically, you need something that's going to seal up because you don't want to get water into the wiring. So this is a grease pack. This is a grease nut. This is a regular wire nut. This type of wire nut winds up getting pushed down inside the grease pack and um, does basically the same thing as this. And I've already pulled this one apart so you can see this is just a grease filled version of one of these with a little cap on it. So um, all of these are, there's actually a commercial version here too, but all of these are, are perfectly acceptable um, to use on sprinklers, but you need to use a grease filled version or uh, of one of these to be able to use um, when you're inside of a sprinkler box outside or your any place where it may get come in contact with water. Now the reason these are so large is it's for a commercial. So commercial gauge wire is a lot thicker. Uh, when you wind up, uh, if you were to wire for a commercial job, um, this, nice, come on, cut through. Sorry, this wire is old. There it goes. All right. So this stuff is a lot thicker than, say, this stuff, which is what they use for regular residential. Um, this one, um, I believe, is 18 gauge. I'm not positive. This one right here is 14 gauge. So this might even be like 22 gauge. But um, you can see the difference in the, the thickness of these wires. This is because the run at a home or the length of the wire is a lot shorter. Uh, commercial, this would be, say for example, in a park or a golf course, where, I mean, they may be running hundreds of yards um, to be able to get to where they have to go. And they need to have a thicker wire to be able to carry that um, that voltage that far. Uh, you can use this this smaller stuff if, if you're close, but in a commercial setting, you just want to keep, your, keep everything standard, which would be this larger stuff. Um, in a home, like you can see, there's multiple different different colors, and they always come in a stranded version, which is this, like this. And these are direct bury, meaning you can bury these directly in the ground the way they are. That's what they're designed for. So don't just use any any type of wire that can wire up that's this size, because you want to use something that's designed to be in the ground. Um, I've, I've come across some that they people have used them in the ground, and when you bend the sheath, it just all falls apart or it comes off or whatever, because it wasn't designed to be exposed to the elements on a regular basis. Um, also don't use like phone wire. It's way too thin. You want to use the, pr the proper stuff. If you're, you're wiring for home, this works great. If you're wiring commercial, use this. Um, another thing on grease packs, so you know how they work. Um, if you were to take this, I'm only going to show you instead of having to to tighten this up, hang on, we'll use a commercial one so you can see it. Okay, now, normally you'd have two or three together, but you basically tighten, well, maybe I'll show you these. I'll show you exactly what they're supposed to do. We'll just assume these are two different wires coming in. Oh, look, that one actually stripped the way it should. We'll just assume these are two different wires coming in. And then you would take the um, provided uh, wire nut. The reason you, I say provided is some of these have to have a very specific wire nut to go into them. You want to tighten them up until these start to twist, or you can twist the wires first and put them on. You can do it either way. But if you tighten them up till this starts to twist, when you pull it apart, you can see these have already been twisted, and this is what did or made it to where it was able to twist um, because of the, the the force of me turning it hard force those to wrap up like they're supposed to. When you pack these together like this, you want to make sure you push it all the way down to the bottom and you can see, hopefully you can see there's grease right there. Now you want to always inspect it because right here you can see all that grease that came out. You can always take something and force it down around it. If it looks like there was an air pocket, you want to make sure that it didn't cause an air pocket. It's not supposed to, but I've seen it happen. Um, and then what you do is you wind up pulling these out to either side 
it's snapping it closed and now that is completely waterproof if it winds up being in inside of a, a sprinkler box that gets filled up with water these connections are not going to go bad and the problem is if they get wet is cor corrosion will start on the wiring and then it can follow the wire up and that's all caused from this getting wet so if you wind up having corrosion that's one of the the quickest ways for for you to have an issue with your system is to have have it be exposed to water when in most cases it won't fail because it's exposed to water it'll fail because it gets a corrosion layer that builds up between the two wires so when you have two wires that come in contact for example like this if these are wired together like this the corrosion will actually be will, will get build up in 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 between all of the the wiring itself and create a gray or black layer around it um, i've seen it green too but it's usually gray or black um, but then another thing that can happen is it can crawl all the way down the wiring um, mainly because the, the water can also follow the wiring especially if it's stranded like this um, and water can follow the wiring all the way down to the solenoid and fill this cavity and cause these to rupture as well. Um, but the corrosion issue, if it follows this down, the corrosion will destroy this wiring as far as it goes. And if it winds up um, following it, you're going too far, you have to replace the wiring in the system uh, because it just it's just not going to get enough contact. So it's definitely a must. You want to you want to use either a grease pack or a grease nut if you're going to be anywhere where it's exposed to water.